Hey everybody, I have had a topic come up a couple of times over the last few days and so I thought I would shoot a video talking about it and that topic is why some fish stores will use pure oxygen and inflate your bag of fish whereas other fish stores will simply grab the bag and sort of squeeze it tight to try to capture some air in the bag and then they put the rubber band on it and send you home. So the idea that I get from a lot of people is that the belief is that the pure oxygen is used to make sure the fish don't run out of oxygen before they get home and that's not the case at all. Um, there's, there's very little dissolved oxygen in our aquariums. The tank behind me probably has about five parts per million dissolved oxygen. Um, our atmosphere that we're breathing is about 21 percent oxygen. The five parts per million in the tank behind me equates to 0.0005% oxygen. So very little oxygen in the water compared to the air we're breathing. And therefore the bag with just air in it has plenty of oxygen to keep resupplying the water. That fish is not going to run out of oxygen uh, anytime you know, within a few short hours. What that oxygen is in the water for or is in the bag for is to stabilize the pH of the water what happens is the CO2 begins building up in the water and under normal circumstances the CO2 will move out of the water and into the atmosphere where there's a much lower concentration of it but in that little enclosed area where the bag is only so much CO2 can move out of the water before there's more CO2 in the air than will allow for the diffusion out of the water and so the CO2 begins building up in the water and CO2 dissolved in water is carbonic acid and of course as the acid builds up in the water your pH begins to plummet. So once you get to that tipping point where the pH starts to drop, it starts to drop pretty quickly and you can lose fish just from pH shock and I don't want to give a time frame but if you're going home from the, you know your local uh, fish store and it's you know it, it just uses the air method rather than the pure oxygen method if you're going to be home within an hour you're probably fine um, it all depends on how many fish are in the bag if they're if they, if they have the tendency to put a lot of fish in in a bag and you've got a long drive tell them to put them in a couple of bags you know or put them in a big bag if you've got an hour drive ahead of you if you've got a 15 20 minute drive it's probably not going to be that big a deal if you're shipping fish and the bags, you know, the fish might be in the bag overnight or for two days, you absolutely have to have the oxygen in there or the, the, the CO2 will build up in the water and it'll, they'll suffer a pH crash. And of course, once the, the CO2 gets to a certain level in the water, then the CO2 can't even move out of the fish's blood and the fish will begin holding CO2 to the point where it can't carry oxygen and then it will die that way. So the, the, so the pure oxygen in the bag really is there to just allow the CO2 to keep moving out of the water. As long as there's pure oxygen there, that CO2 will be able to just keep moving out of the water, that stabilizes the pH and it saves your fish's life. So that's all it is, it's as simple as that. That oxygen is there to stabilize the pH and nothing more. So that's it, that's my little the topic of the video for today so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed make sure you're subscribed don't forget this one here is my 125 gallon native tank hope you enjoyed that one thanks a lot and i'll see you real soon in the next one